Australia has lost one of its sporting greats with the death of rugby league's Rex Mossop. The dual international was already a legend on the field before taking to the commentary box for a long and colourful career. He was 83. He was the mouth they called Moose. Rex Mossop spoke English, but not as we knew it. And Rex banged his fist down and said, I don't believe the male and female genitals should be rammed down people's throats. The Frank Sinatra of commentary could be a diva too. I can't work under these <laughs> conditions, really, I can't. Towards the end, granddaughter Rachel cared for Rex. He was a grumpy man, beautiful man, he was a big bear. He's like the beast on Beauty and the Beast. Where diplomacy wasn't his forte. Well, ladies, it's a trivial female question, and we'll let some trivial females mm. answer it. Pat Furman. Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> that was very nasty. Controversy was his sharpest tool. Would you ever go in the game, Artie Gras? Oh. Football and Manly Warringah were his loves. He played five rugby union tests and 12 league internationals. He was opinionated, but felt passionately about the game. He'll be sorely missed. There was something sacred about Brookvale Oval for Rex Mossop, so much so that he used to attend every home game that he could right up until the end of last season. And that's why the Sea Eagles will be putting on an extra special goodbye for the Moose on Monday night. A big crowd is expected. There'll be a minute's silence and, um, and the side will uh, you know, wear black arm guard. Those he's left behind include a three-year-old great-grandson. He's called Rex. Damien Smith, 7 News. Australia's sporting world has been saddened by the death of footy legend Rex Mossop. The man they called Moose was more than just a player turned commentator. He was the kind of larger-than-life character that they just don't make anymore. A big man with a big mouth. Glover scored a fine one. I think it... I can't work out the it was a perfect fit for a football commentator. Rex Mossop was the moose who roared. Steve Mortimer elects to run. Look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him go! And the man behind the mic knew his topic. He represented Australia in rugby union and league. Mossop puts his head down, he's through. Straight through the great fit and pack for a try. He played it tough, sent off seven times. For Rex, the biffo was a badge of honour. It was sent off every time for punching. Not for uh, kicking your elbows or knees, nothing snide. It was a straight out bang, bang, bang. On and off the field, the Moose always had an opinion, especially on Sunday's big league show. There was the passing competition and controversy corner. But how would you be lining up with sats before the game? Former test player and fellow panellist Ferris Ashton duelled with him for 19 years. Rex wasn't uh, very difficult to argue with. He had definite ideas and that was it. In the commentary box, Mossop managed to rewrite the English language. There was forward progress or verbal tongue lashings. Creative and colourful. Very humorous lines, but uh, tautological, I think, is the, the word I'm looking for. And he was absolutely the king, the prince of it. In 1976, he dropped the most famous line of Mossop speak, when making a citizen's arrest of a nudist who invaded his beach. No want any male genitalia stuffed down my throat. <laughs> That's what I said. As a commentator, Mossop didn't hide his allegiance, a one-eyed manly supporter and a constant fixture at their home games. The moose roared and he roared a lot over in the northern beaches. I mean, if there was anything wrong at Brookvale, he'd tell us. He passed away last night, not far from Brookie, in a nursing home after a long struggle with Alzheimer's disease. He was 83. If I could get one wish, I'd like to peel 40 years off and just do the whole bloody thing again. That's the way I feel about it. Damien Ryan, Nine News. Rugby league legend and former commentator Rex Mossop has died, aged 83. Mossop, a dual international for Australia, suffered from Alzheimer's disease. He was league's premier television commentator on channels 7 and 10 from the 1970s through to 1990. Mossop began his football career in rugby union with Manly, playing eight tests for the Wallabies from 1948 to 1951. He then switched to league, joining the Manly Sea Eagles. He retired as a player in 1963 at the age of 35.
One of rugby league's most colourful characters, Rex Mossop, has died. Mossop played more than 100 games for the Manly Sea Eagles and also represented Australia in rugby league and rugby union. After hanging up his boots in 1963, he went on to become one of rugby league's leading commentators. Nicknamed the Moose, he never shied away from an argument. A big, tough man on the field, but probably just as importantly, he pioneered the way rugby league is now broadcast on television. He was opinionated, but felt passionately about the game. He'll be sorely missed. Rex Mossop suffered from Alzheimer's in recent years and died in Sydney last night. He was 83.